wheelie machine. So that's how I get the job done. It's really handy having a engine hoist kind of thing, chain lift, on the ceiling in my shop when I want to work on my lawnmower. This is the first time this spring, 2009. It's May 10th and it's real cold out. If you don't have a chain hoist, you can pick it up with your backhoe bucket and a chain. That always works good. And if all else fails, just roll it over on its side if you want to work on it underneath. So first thing I did was drop the deck off of it while it was up in the air. And noticed the deck drive belt is pretty bad. I always kept a spare, so it's installed. And then every single pivot point underneath there where the pins and cotter keys go through, bearings, sliding things, I spray them with this castrol chain loop as it goes on runny and gets into the cracks and dries up sticky like honey. So it's the best lasting kind of lube you can stick on something like this without it just dripping and falling off. I love it. I use it for my door locks on my car, the hinges on my cars. Oh, so many uses. Actually, I least often use it on my motorcycles. Now, of course, you can just unbolt the bolt and sharpen the blades any way you want. But I'm, you know, pretty lazy. So if you take your little hand grinder, you get the back side of the wheel on it, and you go back and forth like this, sure it puts a curve in the back side of your wheel, but that shapes it just perfectly for sharpening your chainsaw, as a method I showed last year. And then you give it a few passes till it's all got the right angle back on it, and then just one little quickie along there to make the perfect knife edge. When you have your deck off, you should remove the belt that drives all the blades and spin each one quickly with your fingers. Listen for a growling sound. If you have a growling sound, you have a bad bearing and one that's going to damage your shaft if you keep using it. So, best to uh, replace your bearings before you know you start cutting the grass. They come apart a lot easier when they're not seized up and they're not disintegrated and the shaft's not wrecked. Now if you remember a video I made two years ago, I converted this thing to not be a Kohler, but to be a Honda clone motor called a, a Jiang Dong. They call them Power Fist Motors, they call them all kinds of different names, different stores sell them. They're probably all made by that company. This is the 13 horse Honda clone. Sitting out to pasture for two years is the Kohler I took out of it. It's 11 horse cast iron block, one heavy pig. It ran great till the bolt on the connecting rod undid itself and it blew itself a new asshole when the rod hit the side of the block when the crank rammed it. All the rest of the parts of this motor are good if you need any parts. Well, in comparison, that motor sucked. The Honda clone motor burns half the fuel, has two horsepower more, but feels like it has more horsepower than that. It hasn't got, gave me a single problem in two years except a pull starter that doesn't catch all the time. It's absolutely wonderful. The motor weighs almost 40 pounds less. You don't need a battery. It starts on one pull, so who needs electric start? And car batteries weigh 35 or 40 pounds. So I've saved about 80 pounds total weight of my machine. The Honda motor, or the Honda clone motor, being overhead valve, it's more modern. That's one reason why it burns less fuel. It's less CCs. It's another reason. It is wonderful. It's quieter, smoother, faster starting, lighter and I've had no problems with it so the only difference is the motor mounts weren't quite the same I did have to go way down there and modify the mounting plate but that wasn't a big deal it came with all these holes in the front of the block you could put water pumps on or generators on or something like that and they were already exactly in the right place to fit all these brackets for my drive system the shaft was the right size the height from the center of the shaft to the mounting base was the correct height. It was absolutely perfect just to set for the motor mount bolt holes at the bottom of the mounting plate of the motor. Comes with that tiny gas tank in comparison to the big gas tank that was on this machine. But I can cut between four to five hours on this tank of gas and before with the big one that was under the seat I used up that whole tank cutting the same length of time. I just put the pull starter just has three bolts that holds it on. I just took it off, rotated it so that it pointed towards the driver. As you can see, it still has that problem of not catching unless you give it a quick jam. 
simple enough to fix. It just needs more friction on the dog mechanism. This is a throttle. I never even bothered running a cable. I can just reach that with my arm and set it wherever I want and drive. So now that I got all that crap cleaned out of it, next step before I start anything in the spring, especially to Cumpsy lawnmowers, is drain the bowl. If you want an easy start, fresh gas sure works. They almost never start on last year's gas in there. Now one thing I did to modify my tractor, because I often cut very deep long grass with it, and doesn't work very well with a standard deck. It just bends the grass over and rubs on it and you drive over it stands back up again. So what I did was took the cutting torch and cut out the front of my deck. <laughs> Since I don't use this thing in the city, I use it only at the farm. That's perfect for me. The only disadvantage is a lot of grass flies all over the place. So sometimes you get some in your face. It also likes to suck it into the air intakes on the pole starter and clog them up. So I'm, while I'm driving I'm just brushing those off occasionally. But it made a huge difference to how well it cuts long grass. Down she goes. Oops, wrong one. All ready for the first start of 2009. I think she's a 1979 model. I got her for free years ago with a blown motor. And now that I don't use the battery anymore in it, I took out the battery box. We got a big enough compartment there for a 12 pack, you know. It does take me five and a half hours to cut all the grass on my five kilometers of trail like roads I made back there. So it is the long haul. You have to be prepared. All right, choke on, kill on. If I don't pull it quick to give it that jam, she doesn't catch. One ball! Yeah, one ball! Amazing for Chinese technology. It hasn't been running since uh, September of 2008. Beautiful.